What's good, yeah? I got the actual attribute numbers for you guys for these positions. I'm starting off with the point guard playmaker um, versus the point guard sharpshooter. I'm going to do the same thing for shooting guard position, small forward position. Probably do the center next, you feel me? And show y'all the different stats and actual numbers. And y'all going to be surprised about something, but I ain't going to reveal it yet. But anyway, so as you can see, we looking at, um, it's going from, I'm going to just talk about it because I pretty much know about heart, but uh, it's crazy. So basically how it is i know a lot of people want to be sharpshooter point guards and stuff like that and that's cool and all as you can see your mid range is going to be a 92 your three point is going to be a 92 but it's like everything else is pretty much trash like um there's your defense ah uh, iffy iffy is all right um when you look at the playmaker the three-point shot for the uh, playmaking point guard is a 72, I believe, if you add it up. I think it's like a 72 or something like that, which it should be maybe 78, 75, but it's cool. 72, that's the inside, which is way better than the sharpshooter inside. Now, look at the speed of a sharpshooter. Trash compared to the speed of a playmaker. The, put, the playmaking point guard speed is a 92 versus the sharpshooter speed is like, uh, I think it's like 74 or something like that kind of is joint the screenshots kind of going fast but anyway shout out to the plug my boy blaze i don't think he wanted his name to be like revealed on a joint but really he the plug but um so my breakdown now that i basically pretty much went through everything if y'all need numbers and stuff like that i mean y'all can see it yourself y'all can ask any question about it and ask me about whatever any position stuff like that i answer in the comment section but anyway now let me break it down all right so the position that I'm going with for point guard out of these two is going to be playmaker because even though I do love shooting, I want to be able to use the full advantage of my custom jump shot this year. But however, I don't want to be that slow. I don't want to be slow with low playmaking. I think their playmaker is only what? What that said? That said like 45 plus 30 something. That's like what? Blah, blah, blah. 78, 78, 79 playmaker for a sharpshooter. That's trash. And it's going to be certain dribbles you won't be able to do being a sharpshooter. But, I mean, you will knock down open shots more than probably any other position. Um, but you can't shoot off the dribble. Uh, they have another uh, category in the dribbling and agility section saying speed with the ball. That's low for sharpshooter. So I'm choosing playmaking because it's going to fit my play style better than sharpshooter to a certain extent. I'll be able to do ankle breakers. I'll be fast. I don't have like the greatest layups and dunks, but it's way higher than sharpshooter. Like I at least got like I think like what a uh, 80 something, like an 83 standing layup, 80 something, 80, 80 on a dot. That's fire, actually, to be fast. So when I break your legs, blow by you, I can at least have a chance of making a layup with sharpshooter. Like, <laughs> look at this sharpshooter layup. It's a what? Bang, it's a little blurry. I think that's uh 70. You get a 70 layup. Now, I know these attributes look low to you guys, so how like what uh how I took on it, my opinion on it is like in this game they making us more like NBA players. Whereas though nobody has like a 99 attribute point now. We don't have there's no such thing as a 99 three for no position. There's no such thing as a 99 speed, 99 anything. So it's probably new numbers now, like 70 a 73 might be the new 83 if that makes sense since we're all nerfed down for real so having a 70 might be like having an 80 having a 50 might be like having a 60 so on and so forth but um with these two play styles it's just you're going to be limited to being a straight shooter you feel me with your shooting badges and stuff like that versus being a playmaker creating plays for your team dribbling and stuff like that so basically like out of all the other builds i know you probably like what about the other builds there's no balance build in the game for real it's like each build plays to whatever your play style is this year so you can't be stephen curry shooting from half court and westbrook dunking on niggas and kyrie irving dribbling breaking niggas legs you can't do all three you just have to choose like one section so um another thing i think this year is uh the inside player is probably going to be dominant uh, I doubt if anybody's ever going to choose like lockdown defender play style because your offense completely trash. You like basically a run or test type of player, but your defense might be goatee. You feel me? It should be goatee because like on ball, these on ball uh, 
when you had other play styles, the on-ball defense is like about 74 max for these little play styles. So it's like, but um, uh, anything else with this comparison? That's pretty much it, man. Request what you guys want to see next. Shout out to the plug. Uh, I probably do the small forward comparison next. Do the point. I probably do point forward and like sharpshooter and compare those two. And then I probably do the big centers like. And see which uh out of all the playstyles for the centers, which would be the best one for like which game modes. But it's your boiler monster. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm out. Tell me which one y'all think y'all like the best, which one y'all gonna choose. And I'm out. Ye